in our midst. Already there are great testimonies. Glory to Jesus. The Lord is doing mighty and great things. And today is our fourth day of 150 days of fasting and prayer. Glory to God. I hope you're enjoying it. Blessed be the name of our Lord. It is God that giveth victory. God shows up. God is the one that shows mercy. This morning, we are going to read Psalm 4. The book of Psalms, chapter 4. Psalms chapter 4, and I'm reading from verse 1. The Bible says, Hear me when I call. O God of my righteousness, Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me, and hear my prayer, O you sons of men. How long will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love vanity and seek after leasing? But know that the Lord has set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, Who will show us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of your countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep. For thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hear me when I call. God of righteousness. Because. You have enlarged me. When I was in distress. The Bible says. That at God's time. At his own time, he makes all things beautiful. He makes all things beautiful. He, he, he is God. He's not a man. Man may not understand. You know, sometimes you are going through a situation... And people are waiting to laugh at you. They forget. They might have gone through such 
problem. But because of the short memory in man, they will forget that there is a point in life that they go through the same stress or they go through the same condition. But eventually, God gave them a breathing space but they will sit down and think that God will never help another man. They will sit down and think about it. And start parading themselves like a God. And start making themselves a kind of mini God. Glory to Jesus. Maybe you are going through a kind of situation where your family or your friends or whichever close to you is waiting to laugh at you. They're waiting. They might think, they might, because these are hypocritical words. They might be pretending they are helping you. They might be pretending, oh, how we love you. But in the heart of their heart, they are waiting to see your downfall. But I have a good news for you this morning. The scripture says, in your distress, God will enlarge you. Suddenly, there is an enlargement beyond the boundaries of distress. There is an enlargement beyond the boundaries of distress. So when people are acting in some ways, waiting, no matter how you try to explain to them, that listen, there is how I stay right now. Don't bother me. Don't trouble me. Please. They don't care. They are now judging you from their own perspective. But suddenly, suddenly, there will be an enlargement. Why? Because God is a God of enlargement. We are, we are, we are calling upon the same God. If God has done it for Abraham... If God has done it for Isaac, if God has done it for Jacob, <laughs> glory to God, he will do it for you this morning. If God has done it for David, if God has done it for the Shunammite woman, if God has done it for the sons of the prophets, I want you to understand that the same God has not changed. This morning, there is an enlargement of cost. Suddenly, your distress will be over. It says, God has enlarged me in my distress. I don't care what has been distressing you. Maybe it's financial distress, emotional distress, Psychological distress, spiritual distress, any kind of distress, job-related distress, marriage-related distress, relationship distress, ministry distress, whatever kind of distress, there is a boundary that God has set that when you leap over, you will get into enlargement. It says, suddenly, God enlarged me in my distress, when people are waiting to see you scatter, when they are waiting to hear a bad news, they will wait forever. Glory to God. Maybe you get married and people are waiting to hear bad news. They don't worry. Let's give them one year. One year pass. Let's give them three years. Okay. Maybe when they have children, they will run into skelter, they will run into confusion. Yet, it's not happening. Glory to God. They will wait forever. 
to see you scatter, to see you go down, they will wait forever. They will only be seeing because you have, they don't have to share good news with them. There are people you don't share good news with. There are people you don't tell your next plan. There are people you don't even open up. Because the moment you open up, it will resurrect a very twisted and wickedness in their heart. You've got to be aware of it. That there are people you do not even pray with them. Because their prayer among you is an abomination unto God. Why? Their heart is not clean. You wonder why Jesus Christ will go to a solitary place. Solitary. A very deep place. Place on the mountain. Place in a secluded place to pray to God. Because there are some prayers when you are offering and people will hear it. They are twisted and wicked mind. We go against it. You don't pray with such people. You got to be very observant and say, when I pray with this person, what happens? When you pray, what happens? When this person pray with me, you might be praying with your open mind and heart, but their heart is deeply twisted. You got to go deep in the spirit to find out. You are trying to build a house, they pray, and your house gets stunted. Will never move forward. But you pray for them, it goes smoothly and speed. There are things that you need to begin to observe. When you observe it, go deeper in the spirit and you will find out who to pray with and who to, who to agree with. The Bible says, when you yoke together with someone whose burden weighs you down, Glory to God. You will be unequally yoked. When you are unequally yoked, you are in trouble. Big trouble. Because you are not going to be operating on the same level of faith. The same level of happiness. The same level of joy. When someone is not happy, the only thing he can display is unhappiness. They will be crafty and all kinds of craftiness entering into that relationship. You don't want it. Some people has already been captured by the devil. So you need to understand who you are dealing with. And that's why this morning the Lord says your distress, out of your distress, suddenly there is an enlargement in the name of Jesus Christ. So every distress is receiving enlargement of prosperity. Glory to God. He said, have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. The message of God is upon you this morning. Hallelujah. Why? Because God is turning every shame into glory. Shame is turning into glory. Anything that has been meant to shame you will bring glory to God this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. That shame will not come. Of course, nobody wants shame. But God is turning every shame in your life. Whatever distress you have passed through, whatever distress you have passed through, whatever shame the enemy has set you up with, God this morning 
Say, I should tell you that he's turning that shame into glory. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. He asked a question here. Oh, you sons of men, how will you turn my glory? How long will you turn my glory into shame? How do you love vanity and seek after living? I say it again. Whatever you think you have is a living. It's a vanity. You can have 20 houses. You are not the first person. There are those who are 40. You can have 100. There are those who have 150. You can have aircraft that nobody has ever seen in this world. There are those who have had it before you. So this civilization we are looking at is not even, it's nothing to match the civilization that have passed beyond, before, old. Glory to God. So there's nothing new, as the scripture says, under the sun. Regardless of how you are enjoying it, there are people who have enjoyed it more, but they are not here with us. They left and go into six feet, and those things were gone. It's listen. It's vanity. The Bible said, why are you chasing that? Why do you give your heart a heavy burden for vanity and leasing. You know what leasing means? That when something is leased to you, it's not yours. You use it for a time. And you're gone. Regardless of the kind of money you think you are dumbling into right now. Or you are touching. Or people are giving to you. It's a leasing. It is leasing. You may not believe me. But one day you will know. Because you will be gone. I won't be able to spend even a dollar. Won't be able to pay even one dollar bill. Nothing. You're gone and you're gone. Glory to God. So the scripture says, because of this leasing and vanity, you are turning my glory into shame. You're putting yourself in shame. You don't remember God. You do not serve God with a hundred percent heart and pray to God that iniquity in your heart will change that that hatred in your heart will change that competition in your heart will change because it is losing you are losing it in fact the country where we are in the United States right now should teach you about leasing. The house you think, when you say, I buy a house, you're just leasing it. You lease it. <laughs> Glory to God. It's not yours. Because even when you think I finished paying, you still pay tax. You keep on paying tax until you die. Whoever that collected will continue to pay tax. It's not yours. You don't own nothing right here. Glory to God. You say you buy a car, you continue paying tax on it. Insurance. Until the day that car is no longer. Or you no longer. I want you to understand this. That there is nothing new under heaven. There is nothing that has the ability to push you in order to put the glory of God into shame. Regardless of who. So stop playing games. Stop playing all those twisted games. Thinking you are wise. You cannot be wiser than the Holy Spirit. You got to be wise in the eyes of God. Those who think that they are wise utmostly become foolish. I want you to pray this morning that there's no way the shame will be glorified. No. But God himself has risen this morning and said, hey, 
those shames of yours, I'm going to turn it to my glory. I will change it this morning. Only if you agree. Agree. Say to God, change my shame into glory. I am ready to stop pursuing leasing and vanity. Is it good to buy a house? Good. Of course, you got to live in a house. Is it good to eat? Yes. Is it good to buy nice things? Yes. But I want you to have a mindset to know on time that whatever you have right now is leasing and vanity. You will use it until the time being because suddenly you will still going to leave this world. One day, it might not be now, it might not be in 20 years, it might not be in 30 years, but definitely you are going. We are all going. I want you to understand. When you understand it, you will have a different mind towards God and his people. Glory to Jesus. The way you treat the things of leasing and vanity is to take it on the tail. Remember, when Jesus, when the Lord told Moses, drop your staff. Because Moses thought, the only thing I have in this world is this my staff. He said, put it on the ground. When you put it on the ground in the presence of God, when you drop it in the presence of God, you became a snake. The things you thought is the only thing I have in this world. Can you be able to put it in the presence of God and see how nasty, how dirty, how corrupt, how terrible it is. When you put it, you can only take it by the tail. By the tail. By the tail. Glory to God. By the tail. I want you to pray this morning and demand from God every shame that have harassed me. Oh Lord, turn it into glory. Turn my shame into glory. Turn my shame into glory. Open your mouth. Don't keep quiet. Turn my shame into glory that I will no longer love vanity and seek after listening in the name of jesus deliver my family from seeking after vanity from loving listening in the name of jesus christ deliver my family deliver my children deliver me in the name of jesus christ a man so horrible, Sakibo Gata. Yande Libos, Rabba do Kambara Kusekimaga. Yes, Lord, in the precious name of Jesus. Yes, there are those who are saying, Who will show them good? Who do they know apart from me? Who are they without me? You're, they're saying it already. But hey, I want you to pray. The Lord says, that they will ask, who are they? Glory to God. Who will show them mercy? But hey, there is God this morning. The Bible said, you have put gladness in my heart more than the time their corn and their wine increase. The gladness that God is your protector that God is your safe? You are safe. You, when you run into God as a strong tower, you are safe. Many people are crying, billionaires, millionaires, empty, lonely, nothing. In fact, they cannot wait to die. They are drugging themselves to death because of loneliness. And when they remember what they have done with their life, their conscience is too thin to take the heavy burden that have come upon them. The only way is accepting Christ as your own Lord and personal Savior. 
putting Christ in your system, allowing him, he's the only one that gives peace. Glory to God. Gladness. Gladness only comes from God. I want you to pray this morning. Oh Lord, gladden my heart. Gladden my heart. Put a glad in my heart. Gladden my heart. Let joy, the joy that only come from the Holy Spirit, let it come upon me. Let it be in my heart that this morning I will display joy all over unspeakable joy unspeakable in the name of jesus open your mouth decree joy has taken over my life joy has taken over my family joy has taken over my children we are glad even more than when their wine has increased even more than when their corn has increased in the name of jesus christ the lord shall gladden you this morning open your mouth Decree it. Gladness. Gladness. There is somebody on this prayer line. You are not happy. You are not happy. Even your relationship is so bad that you are now afraid. You are so much afraid. You wonder if my husband is going to kill me. If my husband's people are going to kill me. Is my friend going to kill me? You are just so distressed and unhappy. This morning... God is assuring you of gladness and safety. Gladness and safety. Gladness and safety in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive gladness. Receive safety. Be assured that God will protect you. No man can harm you. No woman can harm you. I want you to lift up your hands and begin to wave unto God. Say to God, I love you. Thank you, Lord, for showing me mercy. Thank you, Lord, for gladdening my heart. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for giving me victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. There is somebody... Your belly, you have been having a cramp, serious belly ache. You don't know what it is. Glory to God. God is going to set it up properly now. It's like your liver has been tampered with. Your liver. But God is going to set it up right now. Miraculously. As I'm praying right now, you will have a coolness in your belly. And God will set it up in a way that you are free from such attack. Father, in the name of Jesus, and everyone sick, I want you to put your hand on your head. The glory of God, the power of God, the healing power of God is moving now. Ande kouse rabutinai. Lord, I release that power in the name of Jesus. I command that the healing power of God will flow and heal you from every sickness. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for healing your people. Thank you, mighty Jesus, for that great healing. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Father, I pray for protection of your people. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover everyone right here under the sound of my voice with the blood of Jesus Christ. You shall not die, but live. Yes. Yes. Somebody dreamt about accident this morning. You shall not die. Of course, the enemy wants to take your life. But right now, I command by the power in the name of Jesus, no accident. No burial. No spirit of death. No untimely death. I command. You shall live and not die. In the name 
of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. No gunmen, no gunwomen shall attack you. No accident. No home accident. No road accident. No work related accident. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Jigsaw conference recording. This session is no longer being recorded. Commute conference participants. All participants are unmuted. <laughs>